Hi, today I wanted to share with you my three-story American Girl dollhouse. Now, it's still kind of a work in progress, so it is by far not done, but it's something that my big brother made for me. So that was super sweet of him this past summer, so I've been decorating ever since the summer. The top floor is Kit's attic bedroom. Of course, Ruthie's hanging out with her. It's me in December, so they're both in their gardening outfits along with Grace. So here's the side of the room. I used popsicle sticks, which I cut and sanded, and then I stained and polyurethane them for the flooring. The walls are scrapbook paper, actually. That's a scrapbook paper that I have mod podged on. These are kind of my favorite part, the windows. Um, I made them out of the same popsicle sticks that I stained as I did the floorboards. But I glued them together to look like little windows. And I put laminated uh, scrapbook paper behind them so that it looks like actual windows. And I can actually change them. I put them on the sticky tack so that if I ever want to, I can take them off and change it for like a nighttime sky or something like that. So over in the front corner of Kit's room, she has an old flashlight and binoculars and a baseball. And this isn't Kit's actual baseball. It's just a little softball that I managed to find that I thought worked kind of perfectly. And then there's Kit's closet where I have all of her and Ruthie's clothes, so she has her stocking and her Christmas hair ribbon and her hat up there. She has some hats hanging on the sides. I'll get some hangers I made. And a lantern, which that's actually a uh, ornament I found from Walmart last year after Christmas. So then I have all of her clothes, so like her neat outfit. Her old neat outfit, that's what I got her in. And her treehouse sweater and skirt. Her birthday dress. A feed sack dress that I made using a pattern from Pixie Fairy. Ruthie's neat outfit. Kit's Be Forever outfit. Her mini golf outfit. Her play dress. Two little dresses that I made from another um, pattern. Kit's Christmas dress, her red one. Ruthie's Christmas dress. Kit's coat. Kit's one of Kit's pairs of pajamas, which I actually use these ones for Ruthie. And then her beach pajamas, which are the ones that I use for Kit. And I actually made all of my little hangers and this by bending wire in this closet is actually a crate that I turned on its side and glued in a wooden dowel and it actually works really great as a little closet for her. And then over on this side I have her old version of her bed. So it's all metal which I think is super cool. And she has a mattress and sheet and a pillow and this can actually fold out for Ruthie to stay over. And then it has her cute Chanel bedspread, her little pillow, and I have her sock monkey and her doll on the bed. All of her and Ruthie's shoes are tucked underneath, except for her slippers are on her rug. And then at the end of her bed, I have her backpack, her little purse, Ruthie's handbag, and her lunchbox. And then here's Kit and Ruthie. Kit was my first doll. I got her at the very beginning of 2002 for my birthday. She was the newest doll when I got her. It was a present for my mom for my eighth birthday, actually. Um, and then Ruthie was the last doll that I got for childhood right when she was released. Mom knew that I just kind of had to have a Ruthie to go along with Kit because Kit was so special to me in childhood. She literally went everywhere with me. 
then, of course, Miss Grace. Her front leg is a little wonky now because she's quite old. Then, next room. Alright, this is my next room. It's where Marisol and Luciana live. I figured both of my star-themed girls, since Marisol means sun and Luciana means star. So they have the star and moon bedroom set. And you know what? Let me quickly move the bed out so you can see the rest of the room. Alright, here's Marisol and Luciana's room without the bed in it. I used carpeting from when we redid our living room for the flooring and on the walls I used scrapbook paper again and I have a couple little posters from scrapbooks around the room as well as Luciana's space camp. Okay, there's a couple more little posters. This is kind of the biggest piece in the room and almost doesn't really fit. This is their wardrobe. So I have Marisol's clothes on one side and Luciana's on the other. So like, this was an American Girl Place exclusive a long time ago. The shirt and the scalches, and I figured since they had stars, they would be perfect for Luciana. And here's Luciana's meat dress. Marisol's neat outfit, her ballet outfit, and her tap outfit. And she's wearing her spotlight outfit right now. And there's some drawers. This one has Marisol's tap accessories. And her ballet accessories, as well as one shoe. I'm actually missing her other shoe, my cap chewed it up when I was little. And then here's some other clothes which I kind of just consider Marisol's over the years. So like a little sweater set, her Easter dress, and this pink dress that I love putting her in. Oops. Hit stuck. There we go. Underneath here I have Marisol's tap hat. And her cane for her tap dancing is over here, along with a little book that one of my friends made for me, a couple little toys, and flashcards. Sorry, I had a bit of a coughing fit. As I said, I'm getting over a cold. So up here is more Luciana's area. It has like her star map, some writing stuff, her microscope slides and an anatomy torso in the drawer it's more of marisol stuff i obviously have more stuff for aerosol um just kind of her hair things and earrings and as far as lighting in this room and the next room i'm going to show you i just found these little stick on lights from walmart and they work really well lighting room so now let me put back in the bed so here's the bed it has a really old pleasant company sleeping bag as a blanket and i quite like the inside i think it's pretty cute and as i said this is a star moon bed and have marisol's hat and scarf right there and luciana's purse right here Here's Luciana and Marisol back in their room. See, there's Miss Luciana. And here's Marisol. Luciana was my most recent doll. I actually just got her a little while ago. And Marisol was my second doll I ever got. This is Nikki's bedroom. And Caroline is often in here so that she can sew. Um, so once more, this room has carpeting, and the walls are scrapbook paper. They have some scrapbook paper 
posters, and I just realized that still says August. Uh, evidently, I changed Marisol and um, Luciana's calendar, but I did not change theirs, so I will have to take care of that. So first up in the room is this wall, where I have Nikki's maid outfit, and a hat that's actually from Build-A-Bear from a long time ago. And then an old Pleasant Company backpack, which I use for Nikki. Then there's Caroline's little sewing area. So there's a little basket with some fabrics, pin cushion, her tape measure, and her sewing desk your sewing machine, and that's all from a My Life As set. And then I have an old, I think it's American Girl of Today, paint easel. So in here, there's a lot of the different painting accessories. And I know in Nikki's book, she mentions that she likes drawing, so I always thought she would like painting too. And she has some little tiny My Little Ponies and dolls. Now this bed over here is actually the trundle that goes to the Marisol's room set. And then I have a little blanket that I made on it. And one that I crocheted. And then Nikki is studying her math book. And Caroline's just sitting and relaxing in a swimsuit I made for her. Um, Nikki was my third doll, and Caroline was my next to last doll that I've gotten. I actually found her at a thrift store for only $20. And lastly, there's this little dress form that came with the sewing machine, and it has one of the outfits I've made for Nikki on it. My last two rooms are not done yet. This one is going to be Samantha's. I haven't yet put lights on here, so it's kind of dark. There's some of her stuff. There's wood I've worked on cutting for her floors. And on this other side is what will eventually be Molly and Nene's when I get her. But I have not started here, so this is pretty much just a blank slate. Alright, thank you for taking a look at my dollhouse with me. Hope you have a great day. Bye!